Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Icon Stormhawk waterproof boots. Icon are an American brand who focus on kit for street biking and that's life in the city. And these boots fit that mold perfectly. The Stormhawk waterproof boots, which cost £174.99 a pair as we record this video, are short urban boots that for me are just about the minimum height that I'd be prepared to ride a bike in. The uppers are made from leather and it's reinforced at the heels and the toes for stiffness. There's also an extra layer of rubberized protection around the front of the toe area just here. That's really handy in my experience as I often scuff the toes of boots just here by kneeling down to do stuff like unlocking my garage door or sorting out a bike chain like lubing it and adjusting it. There's impact protection from D3O soft inserts on either side of the ankles and the section around the opening here is also padded which makes them very comfortable to wear. There's no gear change protector as such as these raised sections across the front of the foot. These are what Icon call shifter interface nubs and that's meant to protect your feet and the boots against contact with the gear lever. This solution rather than a normal overlay of leather or plastic fits with the urban look and it also stops them looking like pure bike boots. But it does mean you'll get marks on the upper from your gear lever I've used these for one day on the bike and there's already some light marking on the left boot just here. I don't think that would actually bother me. They're more like battle scars really and you'd hope the upper is tough enough to survive without wearing through from contact with the gear lever. But what I noticed when wearing these boots is something I probably should have realised earlier. Gear change protectors don't just protect the boots, they also protect your feet. I wore these on my Yamaha FZ1 Phaser and after an hour or so of riding I could feel the result of those gear changes with a bit of soreness on my feet. My bike does have quite a heavy gear change, and if yours is like that, then it might be a bit of a concern. But on a more modern bike with a lighter gear shift, then I don't think it'd really be an issue. So short boots like these are usually really easy to put on anyway, but there are a couple of bits that make it even simpler with these boots. These loops on each side mean you can get a really good grip and pull those boots on really easily. But the very neat part is the BOA fastener. So these aren't the first bike boots I've seen that use BOA, but it's not commonly used on boots, and maybe it should be because it works really, really well. In its open position, these laces are loose, these plastic ones around here, and there's plenty of room to get your feet and ankles inside. And then what you do is you push this dial in to prime it and then twist it clockwise, which tensions that lace and fastens the boot. Then when you want to undo them, pull the dial out again, open the tongue, and the boots will come off really easily. One other real bonus of these boots is lurking on the inside and it's the waterproof membrane. It's an event membrane which hasn't had a big presence in motorcycling before but it's quite well known in the active and outdoor world. This is the first experience I've had of an event membrane and I didn't get to use these boots in the rain so I can't comment personally on the rain resistance but you don't really need me to comment on the waterproofing though. That's because they're rated as waterproof in the CE tests. This WR mark on the CE label shows that the boots have passed the water resistance test and that's a lab test so it means a lot more than me riding through a few showers on the outskirts of Lincoln and declaring them to be waterproof because my feet stayed dry. I've done a bit of digging online about Event and the membrane has a really good reputation for breathability and many people believe it's better on that score than Gore-Tex though Gore-Tex does seem to be more popular for waterproofing. I would say breathability is probably the main priority with boots like this as I can't see too many people deciding that they should be used as hardcore touring boots for use in long-term persistent rain. If you do ride in the rain in them, just remember you'll need an overlap between your trousers and the boots to stop the water just running inside. The insoles on these boots are good and squidgy too, and they're also removable, which might be handy if they ever stop being good and squidgy, because it means you can take them out and put new insoles in there. And that comfort is really part of the story. These boots are generally just comfortable for walking around on the street and the sole is a chunky walking style boot, which is another part of that. It gives both comfort and fits with the urban look that Icon are going for with these boots. So the final thing I want to talk about with these boots is the rest of the CE label, the bit that covers protection. These boots are approved to the basic level one in three of the four categories, as they're not full height boots, it's pretty clear to see. They're level one in the height category rather than level two. And then they're also level one for resistance to both abrasions and lateral crushing forces acting on the boot. The kind you'd get if a bike landed on your foot when it was laid on its side. They meet the higher level two for resistance to cuts, which involves dropping a blade on the upper to make sure that, that blade doesn't cut all the way through. I really like these boots when I wore them on my bike. 
I wouldn't be mad keen to go on a long tour with something as short as this, but for buzzing around locally, I found them really comfortable and easy to get along with. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Icon Stormhawk waterproof boots. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.